So I wanted to make a really quick video. Uh, we are within the dates for King Baal. Interestingly, both the traditional and alternate dates for this deity are the same, March 21st through 30th. We've also just had our spring equinox. As a king, he's associated with the sun, frankincense, and gold. So I want to read you a quote from the second edition of my book, which is still in drafting. Um, and this is just something for you to consider, to contemplate. It's not a hill I want to die on. <laughs> uh... So I'm going to, I'm going to read right now. Uh, so I, what was previously the prologue in, in the first edition, I've completely taken that out. I've completely rewritten it. And now I have a preface and a prologue that's brand new. Um, the preface is, is an introduction to my writing the book, like the experiences that led me into writing the book, because I do believe that there was some providence involved. And then the prologue, which follows is about the spirit beyond them. Um, but so for my preface, and I'm not reading the entire preface here. I did read some of it in, a, in an earlier video. Uh, but I've actually added a lot more to it since then. But I'm just going to read you a couple of isolated chunks that are relevant to this video. So the beginning, it opens up with, I was meant to write this, to deliver it into your custody. Firstly, I'm convinced that I have visions. And on June 3rd, 2019, long before I was entreated without any ambiguity to draft this piece, I had a vision in which I was asked to orchestrate the Devil's Codex. I agreed, but stubbornly gave the manuscript a working title instead, one that I can no longer recall. I was then handed a manila envelope dressed in numbers. In my rush to publish the first edition of Amada's Book of Beelzebub, before it had become the Codex of Beelzebub, I explained the circumstances surrounding that urgency. On no level did I conspire to release it on June 3rd, 2022, but the universe has a rhythmic heartbeat and we are swaying to its, its song. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit. But so that kind of gives you uh, the opening, which was in 2019, years before, I wasn't working with Bale at the time. Oh, hang on. I haven't gotten to that part yet. My bad. Um, in 2019, but I still wasn't working with Bale at the time either then. Um, but so I didn't know I was going to write the Codex of Beelzebub, which is uh, the first edition is Armada's Book of Beelzebub. Uh, and I had a dream in which I was asked to write the Devil's Codex on June 3rd, 2019. And years later, uh, an author asked me to write with him about Beelzebub. So I didn't even, it wasn't like a self-activating prophecy, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Somebody else asked me to write with him and then he betrayed me. So I ended up writing on my own. Um, and then I didn't, because he betrayed me I, in a rush to publish because I needed to prevent being plagiarized. I ended up publishing on June 3rd, 2022 without, like, it wasn't planned. Like I didn't realize that it was the same date as the vision until like the last minute. Um, so on, on June 3rd, 2019, I was asked to write the devil's codex in a vision and then on June 3rd, 2022, in my rush to publish, I, I released the first edition of Armada's Book of Beelzebub. Uh, again, I believe that there was providence involved in this and that I was supposed to write the book. Um, but so <clears throat> skipping forward, I said, furthermore, over consecutive years, I incurred a series of visions that were likewise grouped together around a separate date, telling me that I could be used as a key to bail, or so it was originally documented. I dreamed the same night that my patronym was in a beautiful tome about the burdens of the red dragon. In Revelation, the red dragon is the devil. Now I wonder whether it might have been Baal rather than Baal because I was going by ear. After all, I worked with neither Baal nor Baal in those days and remained subsequently ignorant of the connection between Baal, Baal, Beelzebub, and the devil. However, I have been developing in the shadows. The prologue will delve into Baal as Beelzebub, but there are those who consider Baal to be Baal. Richard Cavendish is one example. In the Black Arts, he asserts that Baal appears with a toad's or cat's head and has a hoarse voice. In actuality, this is a description of Baal. Jacques Colin de Plancy ruminates as well on Baal, Baal, on Baal as Baal in the Dictionary Infernal. See, this is what I mean. Like, the names are so similar. This is why it's not a hill that I'm willing to die on. Um, but yeah, so it's, and it's on this basis that the OTA operates. The OTA operates with the idea that Baal is Baal. Uh, and I keep saying it's not a hill I want to die on because I, I am going off of my own gnosis, which I do trust. I very much trust my visions. But the thing is, when I had that vision, I wasn't working with Baal. I wasn't working with Baal. I wasn't working with Beelzebub. Uh, when I was asked to write the Devil's Codex, I went into this because I think the spirits moved me into place. Like, I was supposed to write this. And I came into it kind of clueless. You know, I'm learning along the journey. I'm learning in the process, but I'm very much competent and capable. And this is obviously what they want me to do. Um, but so when they told me that I could be used as a key to bail, I wasn't working with bail. Um, and the name sounds so similar, ball and bail, that it's quite possible that they told me I could be used as a key to ball. And when I, you know, and I wrote it down, I just, you know, like it's, 
But I do know for a fact that when it happened and they said I could be used as a key to bail, I even thought to myself, hey, that's kind of clever. Like bail as in jail, like a prisoner who's in jail. Like I can be a key to get like somebody out of, you know, like I was like bail as in, as in bail for jail. So, I mean, that's make with that what you will. <laughs> but we are within the dates for King Bail. Um, and regardless of whether or not Bail is related to Bull, uh, I am attempting to approach them each individually and I would like to uh, learn about the different aspects. So even if all these spirits come from like a, 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 a godhead, uh, they're fractions, you know, they're slivers, they're fragments. And uh, so today uh, I'm using the colors of yellow for kings. Uh, and then we you know when you're working with Beelzebub, you could use the, you could use blue. Because uh, blue is actually really good for Beelzebub because it's the sky and Baal is a storm god. Uh, it's also Jupiter. Uh, and the temple for Baal or for Hadad in Damascus was turned into, it was converted into a temple for Jupiter and he is connected, he's thought to be Jupiter. Um, and blue is also a, a color for Venus. I think according to the queen scale, uh, like green is pretty is pretty regular for Venus, but blue is also another color for Venus. And you have Venus, you have the morning star, uh, you have Beelzebub being synonymous with the devil. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Thanks for coming to my show. <laughs>